Welcome back to more part of the swarm. We are up to char level two. I was looking at the evolution list. It looks like the Zergling has two different versions of its evolution mission, depending on whether you go to Kaldor or Char. So I got the Kaldor version, but either way, you're you're making the same choice, A or B. But if you go to Kaldor, you get the Roach and its evolution. Char gets you the Banely, and after we're done, we'll get that evolution. The Hydra list we get on the Kaldor, but we won't evolve it until after Xerus. So if you went there as their second planet, you could get that sooner. All right. To reach the Dauntless Plateau, we must move the swarm through the Bone Trench. The Terrans will bring everything they have against us. A fortified trench against the Terran with air support? That's about the worst thing. Let's try. No secondary objective on this mission, I don't think, because I'm not seeing a uh, bonus reward. You know you're going to have one if there's an opportunity for bonus XP. Instead of the Protoss or Zerg researches, you just get Karak XP for Karakin or levels. Basically, every point of experience is a level. So you're just getting levels. The Bone Trench. This is the only approach to the Terran Fortress. Can't we use a Nidus Worm? I tried to bring my brood through here once before. The Terrans brought their Gorgon battle cruisers from the skies. They strafed us over and over. My brood bled and died. Along with any hope of pushing the Terrans from Char. Don't you have Hydralis? Scourges? Wait, those are Scourge nests. They could bring down a Gorgon. We just need to reawaken them. Why didn't you do that? My queen, we should simply race through the trench, not waste time fighting Gorgons. If we surprise the Terrans, we can make it through with acceptable losses. And if we don't, the swarm dies. You need to learn vision, Zagara. Vision. Planning, calculation, cunning. Tactics. Use this creep tumor to spawn a tumor near the scourge nest. Once it's awake, Warfield's Gorgon is done for. If it's that easy, I'm pretty sure she could have done it. I can't do it yet. My queen, General Warfield has called in a Gorgon. It is headed for our hive cluster. That ship is huge. No wonder Warfield can't deploy two of them into the trench at once. He only needs one. <laughs> yeah. We have a creep tumor by the first scourge nest. Awaken. Annihilate that Gorgon. Perfect. This is the beginning of the end, Warfield. The Scourge Nest spent its entire life force to take out the Gorgon. We have more. Get a creep tumor by the next one. Move. I want to live on Char. Out with it. What is it now? Can't be any worse than the fucking South. You go lava you fish. My attention. Push ahead. Discovered usable essence within Zerg Bio. Oh, we do have a secondary objective. You didn't show it to me. Recover will empower Queen of Blades. Speak quickly. Get going. Didn't show me the research opportunity. There's not much time. Let's get this over with. Well, I think if we get a queen, we might be able to just put that on us. Here we go again. I 
I need this to get that. I need that to get this. Nothing stands in my way. Okay. I'm stuck waiting for a goddamn overlord. The swarm hungers. Wasting my time. Push ahead. Out with it. Get another Gorgon into the fight. Let's get this over with. You're this just going to keep sending mine. those. You have my attention. That's like that's a Protoss strategy. What is it now? We must face battles for more oh, no. Yeah, I I queued up one. Well. Gotta turn this thing on. There's not much time to speak quickly. would help with this. Bring in a Gorgon, crush carrier. Another one? We know there's gonna be seven, but they're like back to back to back. You have my attention. Get going. Deploy drop pods. Push ahead. Oh, damn, I should have nuked the tank. Speak quick. Swarm hunger. <laughs> The swarm never rests. There's not much time. The queen's died. Get going. Should be fine. Got some time before that thing gets over here. Under attack. Flutter, my zerglings. Flutter, flutter away. Out with it. There's not much time. Another Gorgon down. Keep it up. Awaken more scourge nests. Call in another Gorgon. We don't care if you shoot it down. We'll just summon another one. Yes. Get going. Who asked you? We learned this strategy from the Zerg. Or the Protoss. Just summon another one. Shit, maybe I shouldn't have gone this way. Slowing her too. The swarm never rests. There's not much time. Not gonna let her Push run ahead. away. Yes? Nothing stands in my way. This world is mine. The swarm hungers. She needs an Get armor going. upgrade. Really need that damn hydra nest. I'm bouncing that shit over to deer too. Really delays you. Who asked you? Out with it. You we have 
don't have time for those. We have to go bounce get this the, over uh, with. Yes? Push ahead. Of course, there's shit right there. Nothing stands in mind. We need to upgrade my fluttering turtlings. <laughs> what is it now? The swarm never These things went. can't attack us unless the they go into ground mode. Which they did. Get going. Out with it. Yes? There's not much time. These things are going to keep getting further and Speak further quick. away. Swarm hungers. Telling anyone to attack it, they do that on their own. I'm trying to get this shit over here. I can only make it go so fast. Our forces are under attack. You have damn marines over here. The swarm never rests. Get out of here. Out with it. Get going. The next one's gonna be a damn mile away. Got another one. Leave this planet to me, Warfield. Never, Kerrigan. I'm not out of Gorgon's yacht. Send the next one. Lots of bones in that trench. All Zerg. You'll join them soon enough. With it. Well, I don't know. There's a growing pile of human bones in them now. Speak quickly. The swarm never rests. I don't think we can grow that down. Get going. Nothing stands in my way. Yes? The swarm never rests. One thing I remember being annoying about this campaign and Legacy of the Swarm Void is constantly fingers. being goddamn rushed. You have my they managed to turn every mission into a time trial. You gotta, you gotta rush to do this. You gotta rush to do this. This. Oh, wow. it. What is it now? It's nearly every mission. This world is... Yes? Speak quickly. Who asked you? There's not much time. You want to take your time and enjoy the game? Well, tough shit. This We're rushing you along. We gotta, we gotta rush you to the next mission. Push ahead. Let's get this over with. We don't want you to dwell on this one. We gotta rush you to the next one. Out with it. The swarm hungers. They got the same mentality with their World of Warcraft. What is it now? <clears throat> Nothing stands in my way. I don't know where those bones are. One's probably we buried in there. The in combat. The high cluster is under attack. Oh, fucking it's great. Wonderful. Gotta deal with this too. Get going. Sick of circlings. Great, there's shit on that. Almost to the hive cluster. We need another scourge nest. 
Well, I can't deal with this while well, dealing with that, dealing with that over there, and dealing with this. Oh, and you're under attack, too. Run past the motherfucker. I got a siege tank right on top of the thing. <clears throat> if you're gonna guard it, then why don't you just this blow it up? Rests. Speak quickly. Get going. I need to get her back on Push the health ahead. upgrade. Nothing stands in mind. The swarm hungers. Who asked you? Yes? <sighs> this is taking too long. Yeah, we got queens up in here. I don't know how much more time I have. That skull, like, right next to us. Get going. A There's a fucking siege tank cluster. over there. Awaken another scourge nest now. Oh. Well, I found the bone. Another Gorgon! You'll pay for this, Kerrigan. Found the next bone. Basically, don't have time for an expansion on this level. Fuck off. We don't have time for this either. Get out of here. You have my attention. Push ahead. Stands in my way. Get going. All right, I'm going to try to explore down here. Yes. I know where another bone is, but. He we hasn't spawned another Gorgon. Nothing so this is just not way. showing on the map. But I've got another Zerg nest right Swarm hunger. You know, I think what you need to do. Warfield sent a raven after our creep tumors. Kill it now. Oh, that's why he's dragging Get ass. Gorgon into the fight. The swarm never rests. <clears throat> I think it might be a good idea to drag the destruction of these Gorgons, because it takes a long time to get over there, and as soon as you pop the thing, well, he just sends another one. So... Get going. Of course, now, he's being a dick, starting to shoot the things. Nothing stands in my way. Want to set this off yet? Out with it. I don't think that's close enough. Build it quickly before it goes away. This world is mine. Why is this revealed? I don't actually want to destroy it yet, so let's just send another one. Get going. Push ahead. If we had Stukov up in here, this shit wouldn't be a problem. Let's get this over you could just sit back and just blindly yes. go across the whole damn map yeah. on its own. Speak 
quickly. The swarm never out with it. Yeah, there it is. Ahead. We don't need to attack any of that shit. You can have the Zerglings. I'll get those back. You're not taking my Hydralis though. What is it now? The swarm never rests. Alright, so he's got two more of these. The swarm hungry. The other bone is right there. I had no idea where these bones were. Speak quickly. Nothing stands in mind. Yes? Push ahead. Out with it. Get a strike team to that Scourge nest before the Zerg activated. Another Gorgon down. Keep it up. Awaken more Scourge nests. I claimed this planet in the name of the Terran Dominion. I'm not gonna lose it. Oh, I think you are. This is your last Gorgon, isn't it? This one. I need to get the health upgrade. Nothing's what is it now? Kind of pushed we her as far as I could, not having it. Biomass obtained. Good sequences. But after this, she'll have another ability called Wild Mutation. I just the shot that. But that's okay. The swarm hungers. Mineral field depleted. Let's get this over with. The hell is that, Victor? Centaurian. There's not much time. Oh, it's too scrawny to be a victor. What is it now? This world is mine. I'm getting rusty with my Mexican. Yes? Speak. You have my attention. don't want to attack that base. They're not going to lure me to it. Who asked you? Push ahead. Lure them out of it. You could just keep sending the zerg, the, the zerglings to the enemy to die, but you know, 10 zerglings every 30 seconds is not going to do much to the enemy. That's why they limit it in this way, so you're not just you're not spawning an army at one time. The trickling in will allow you to reinforce all day for free, but you can't just keep throwing them at the enemy. You don't get the you don't get them fast enough. You don't get enough of them at one time. This world is mine. But you have endless Zerg. They're saving you money. Reusable Zerglings. There's the next wave coming up. Pull back! Repeat! All Dominion forces in the trench! Retreat! We've lost control! Kerrigan! This is Warfield. I know you can hear me. I have a message for you. Bring everything you have. Bring your whole swarm! I don't want to hunt down stragglers after we wipe you out. I'll see you on the Dauntless Plateau, old man. You're taunting us after you just ran away. You should be saying, Oh shit, we better evacuate Char. This is going south. We should get out of here while we can. Don't die to a Gorgon. But you see, if I was playing on normal difficulty, I'd get all the achievements. This game seems to punish you for playing on hard because they don't give you a hard mode achievement. But it is what it is. The Hearst game had a hard mode achievement on every map. I think that game was a bit better designed than this one. Except for the damn jukebox. You have awakened new abilities, my queen. If you wish, you can activate them now. They can wait. Your strategy against the Terrans was strange, but I understand. It was obvious. Abathur's changes are bearing fruit. Do you remember what I told you on the battlefield? 
vision. Is this like cunning? It's sight. No. Viciousness? Abathur, go to him. His work is painful. His work will make you understand vision. I will go. <laughs> She's still not smart enough. We improve. We make better. <laughs> this bullshit about vision. She's just talking about problem solving. Her resourcefulness. But how smart you have to be to turn on the obvious zerk or scourge nest to shoot down the giant flying battle cruisers. The zerk scourge are flying bombs. I don't need to read Warfield's mind to know what he's planning for me. Siege tanks? He has no idea what he's up against. He kind of does. Isha, when the Queen of Blades, when I commanded the swarm here on Char, what was I like? You were mighty. You were a real bitch. You made us cunning and strong, and we knew we would survive forever under you. And now? Now nothing is clear, but the swarm will continue. If you die, we will serve another leader. I am the leader of the swarm, and if I die, so do all of you. Remember it. You scissored with us in the acid pool. We did not want to, but you forced us. Tell me about your work. Look at flesh, see only potential. Strands, sequences, twisting, separating, joining. See how it could be better. Eat flesh, splinter bone. Inside me can touch it, weave it. So you split, ate care again. Make it great. But not perfect? Never perfect. Perfection goal that changes, never stops moving. Can chase, cannot catch. Hmm. You certainly have your uses. Uh, I like Abathar. But we don't have any really hateable characters in this campaign. Uh, unlike the others. Although, when you get to Legacy in the Void, uh, every character is going to be a hateable character because it's the damn Protoss. Your power level has increased. A new tier of abilities has awakened. Tassadar is long gone. Oh, uh, Zeratul's alright. But I think Zeratul is like the first guy to fucking die in that campaign, so... Like, uh, doesn't he die a couple missions in? I can't remember. This is a very nice ability. You dump that on a, your army in the middle of a fight. All of a sudden, everything has 200 health and double attack speed. But that's not bad. But six banelings? I don't think that changes very much, as opposed to buffing a whole damn army. And we're gonna drop this back to that. We could spend her mana on Wild Mutation now, so... We really need that Twin Drones ability. It would get our... it would fix our economy. Double workers. No additional supply. After we do the Zeris planet, we'll have a third row. And, uh, a third column. And I think you can get two out of three. Or you just get everything on the third uh, bar. I think you have to pick one of these two and then you get everything on the third one. Something like that. I can't remember. So that's all for now. That's two out of three on Char. The next one will be the third mission where General Warfield will be biting the dust. These two planets you could do in either order though, so you'll notice that we don't really need the Hydralisk. If you came here before going to Kaldor, then you would not have Roaches or Hydralis. So that's why we don't really need them. If you come here first, then you'll have Banelings and Aberrations to take to Kaldor. 
And since you get Zerus after one planet, you can technically do that one before doing the second planet. And that will give you even more shell. Because you'll have more, more upgrades on Kerrigan, and you'll get Mutilus and Swarm Hosts. Which you can then take to Kaldor or Char.